Hi guys, in this video we will see how to proxy the web traffic through the OWASP Zap. As we saw in one of our previous videos, the OWASP Zap sits in between the browser on your machine and the web application. So let us see how to check or set up the local proxy in the Zap software first. Let me quickly minimize this and start the Zap application. So once the Zap software is up and running, you can probably see the proxy which is at the bottom in the footer bar. So what we need to do is go to the tools option, click on the options. and scroll down to local proxies here you can see the local proxy is set up as local host which is your ip address 127.0.0.1 and this is the port number i generally use port 8081 for Zap software, so I'm just going to change it so that our Zap software listens on port 8081 instead of 8080. So if I click OK now, see at the footer bar, it automatically changes to 8081. We have done the setup in Zap software now. Um, so let us see how to do the setup in the browser for that what we need to do is let's start with Firefox first in the Firefox what we need to do is go to the menu option click on settings scroll down to network settings and here you can see at the moment there is no proxy what we need to do is click on the manual proxy configuration and type here localhost or you can type 127.0.0.1 and the port number we specified in zap was 8081 and make sure you just click on also use the proxy for FTP and HTTPS and click on the OK button. So once you have done that, let me quickly rearrange the window so that you can see all the screens. So once you have done the network settings, what we can do is if we go to any of the website, let me go to just bbc.co.uk and as we visit the website, you can see all the messages which are passed between your browser and the web application. They are logged in the history bar and you can see all the URLs visited under the site steps in the tree window you may see the zap hud window just tick do not show this screen again and click continue to your target we will cover this in a separate video so in order to use any other browser so let me close this browser and close this tab click on file new session so it will discard all the details here so it will start with fresh so let's see how to do it in the internet explorer so if i just double click on internet explorer and here if i click on settings internet options go to connections lan settings here it says automatically detect settings so that should be fine so if i just say use a proxy server this time let's try with 
one and the port was eight zero eight one and if I just go to advanced and make sure that it's also selected here use same proxy server for all protocols click OK click OK click OK now if I go to the same website you can see all the messages which are being passed between browser and the web application so if I just close this and do the same file new session click OK and it will get rid of all the messages so let us see how to do it in Google Chrome Google Chrome uses proxy settings from Internet Explorer so if I just go to Chrome and it will automatically start getting the messages because it's picking up settings from the Internet Explorer so if I just go to the BBC this site so it will start logging their messages as well and the same is true for the chromium there is one thing i want to quickly show you before we finish this video is if i go to the firefox again and go to settings and specify no proxy and start a new session and if I go to the BBC site again it wouldn't record it is not going to any proxy so the connection is direct now from your browser to the web application server so nothing is recorded so if you want to enable it you have to go back go to settings network settings select the manual proxy configuration radio button click OK and this time if you refresh it you will see all the messages going through zap again just recording everything now thanks for watching